Hi, I hope you guys are all well and ready for the festive season. Before I begin this video, I do kind of, oh, this is so cringy, right? I do kind of want to ask, I guess, a bit of a favour, which I don't usually do. I'm never that person that's like, get this video to 100 likes or whatever. But uh, I just thought I would let you know in the beginning of my video that I have decided to separate my channel. So this channel is all about natural hair only. So I'm going to remove all other non-hair related videos from this channel, bar one or two. Uh, so if you are at all interested in my beauty, fashion, vlogs and lifestyle videos such as um, my fitness routine and recipes, morning routine, all that kind of stuff, then follow my channel Zig Bezik. I'll leave it in the description bar. Of course, only if you are interested in those things. Uh, I'm not gonna force you, but just in case you were interested. I am 60 followers away from 1,000 on Instagram. So if you have an Instagram account and you aren't following me yet and you feel like dropping me a cheeky follow, please do. That will also be in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get into this bloody video. As you may have noticed, my hair is kind of curled. It's roughly curled. I did a curl former set, but I didn't use a foam. So I just use a regular moisturizer. That's why the curls are a lot fluffier and softer and it's so funny because I hate curl former sets I, I don't actually think they come out nice on me but I like it today so that's that's a step in the right direction um, but I love curl formers because they stretch the hair out today I wanted to show you how I style my curl former sets and I will be using the snappy hair bands as we know hair bands can cause all sorts of issues especially when it comes to curly to textured hair it can really rip and tug and take a lot of hair with it so I'm always on the lookout for these new innovative hair bands and snappy is one of them and I want to see whether it works this is kind of like a first impressions I have not tried them before it's got the snappy logo and that unique snap closure and then the rest of it's kind of like this um, yoga stretch material it's got no elastic in there and these are machine washable as well so it's quite cool so yeah I usually hate my curl former sets but because I like how they stretch my hair I've worked out different hairstyles that I like to do with them and it usually requires pulling some parts of my hair up first one I like to do is just taking like the middle section of my hair or the very crown of my hair and kind of doing a really cutesy cheerleader type hairstyle. I'm going to attempt to wrap this snappy around, but I've never once done it, so it's probably not gonna be very good. <laughs> You can see that's what I do with the first one. It reminds me of kind of like a cheerleader type hairstyle, just having the top pony up. I think it's really cute because you create this little hump at the front here. But I think it's really sweet. <laughs> so that's one way that I put my hair up when it's in curl formers. So I keep the middle parting and I take a quarter section starting from like the top of the ear. So going down here. Take a section here, wrap it around and create a little bun. Secure it with a hair tie. Just do the same on this side as well. So you've got these cute little antennas, kind of reminds me of Mel B in the 90s Spice Girls era. And yeah, it's just sweet and fun. This one's more like a cutesy hairstyle. I actually did this when I was away in Jamaica, just as a carefree kind of style, but it's a way to get all of this off at the front because it's mainly the front of the curl former set that I don't like, which is why I like to pin it up. Hairstyle's so cute. 
So what's great about um, Snappy is, of course, it has that snap closure, meaning I don't have to kind of tug and unwind. I just um, snap it off and then I can unwind it. So it's not taking any hair with it as it goes, which is exactly what you want. You don't want to be ripping any hair out, especially if you are the type of person, and I can be that person, where you do a bun and you kind of leave the hairband in the bun for a while and you just wrap it up and you go to bed you're lazy and those times your hairband can really get stuck i use this really fun bright pink coral color just to show you how i do the next one so this one's really simple and the one that i do the most actually half up half down i do the same with um my mini twists if i don't like the front of my mini twists i pin the front half up so just scoop all of your hair back the front and have the back cascading down and you can also scoop some from the crown here up into the bun or pony So that's what it looks like when it's half up, half down. I just scooped some more hair as well, just to really show you it's the whole half going up. And I also doubled up on snappy, so we'll see if they get stuck together. Look at my hair now, it's like starting to look a bit like Beethoven. So apparently from the instructions at the back, it says you can snap two snappies together to make a headband. So I'm gonna take the black ones again and snap them together. Just snapping them together. Like so created a larger one. It has got quite a nice amount of stretch to it, so let's see how we fare. And of course, you probably guessed it right by now. The last one is just a high puff or pineapple. Clearly, it doubles as a choker. I've just put it on so it's a bit easier. But I scoop everything forward, and that's why I really like curl formers because they stretch the back out so nicely. I'm able to smooth it up really easily. Get the sides and have all the curls coming forward a bit. Oh. Oh. Yeah, simple as pie. This side's a bit messy. So simple and cute. I really like this. <laughs> it's so, so simple to put together. I was so worried that it would just come apart, but there's quite a bit of strength in there actually. It doesn't come apart this way at all. It's only when you decide to kind of snap the two off that it comes apart. So that's really, really great and it's quite comfortable. I have it very loose. I've just got the two. I haven't needed to wrap it around or anything. So I definitely think I prefer the snappies to my regular goodie, you know, my extra large goodie bands because those kind of slide up and press in. Whereas this kind of is just holding. It's just sitting where it needs to sit. It's not forcing anything or pushing anything. So that's sweet. I probably could do with doing it a teeny bit tighter at the back there. But yeah, oh, I like top mop things. I know some people might not, but I really do. <laughs> it's just actually made me think of another style that I'm just going to try really quickly. It might not work, but I'm gonna try it. Just got a bunch of bobby pins as well. So let's go for it, shall we? Probably only need one, so I'm just gonna go for this one. This, the back here. Those are quite nice there at the front. So I've just split it in half. And I'm just using one snappy this time. front fringe so that it kind of stays in place. So you can basically have a high puff 
or pony or tuck this under into a bun and have a high bun with bangs. And if you're feeling festive or you have younger kids, on top of the snappy, you can put a bow or some kind of decorative piece across here or glittery to match their outfit. I think this is so cute. So that was on a whim. I might actually just pin this down. So I've tried snappy and honestly, I am delivered. I really actually like this. I think it's really quite innovative. I like that you can attach more than one. So it's like you're getting bang for your buck because you can just do the one for simple ponies, but you can obviously attach more and more depending on length and thickness of your hair. And obviously you can snap it apart so you're not getting anything stuck in your hair. I'm really, really pleased with them. And I'm also pleased with this hairstyle. I have nowhere to friggin' go. Maybe I'll just force Alex to take me out to dinner because I really like this bloody hairstyle. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Of course, I'll leave Snappy's details down below and all my other details and more stuff. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Bye.